I grew up watching uh, some of the all-time greats and being a, a huge fan of uh, of Steve Young and Joe Montana and Brett Favre. I mean, those are three of my, my all-time favorites, and I've gotten to know those guys over the years, and, which has been a, a thrill for me. Uh, I know Tom uh, Tom pretty well. I think he is, uh, you know, one of the best, if not the best of all time. But obviously, you know, you, you hope to be in those conversations, uh, you know, when you're done playing. Uh, we can uh, find a way to get another one that uh, – We'll all, we'll all go down uh, with a special place in, in the great history of uh, the Green Bay Packers. That was Aaron Rodgers on Stephen A's radio show on Sirius XM Mad Dog Radio yesterday saying he hopes to be in the greatest of all time combo with Tom Brady. So we asked you guys earlier in the show, who would you rather have, Rodgers or Brady? And the results are in 66% say Brady, 34% say Rodgers. I am with Twitter. Max, do you agree? Yes. Who's better? Who's, who would you actually rather have? Brady, because he's played his whole his career with Belichick. So you can't really separate the two. Rodgers is better, more talented, however you want to put it. If, if Belichick had Rodgers, the Patriots would be better. If Green Bay had Brady, Green Bay would be worse. If you switch teams, the, the Rodgers team gets better. He's better. But because of the, the fact that Aaron Rodgers doesn't have Belichick and Brady does... Brady has a better resume, and I consider Brady, in fact, the greatest quarterback of all time. And if that seems like I'm contradicting myself, the, yeah, you the analogy... Yeah, Who would you well, rather have? The analogy I'd use is two equally bright students. Uh, one goes to community college, the other goes to Harvard. At the end of their... By the time they graduate, the kid from Harvard, even if he wasn't equally as bright, even if he was a little duller, the kid from Harvard compounds his advantages and winds up the guy you would rather have. And so, and so in that sense... Uh, you can't take that away from Brady. On uh, my football team, the same coat, everything equal, Rodgers is the better guy. Well, first of all, you're completely wrong, and believe it or not, uh, it's a situation, Max Kellerman, where you and I are perfect examples of this. You went to an Ivy League school. You went to Hence. Columbia. I have Hence. no doubt. I have no doubt you graduated with honors. I went to some little old HBCU yet called Winston Salem State, and Wait, everyone what? would rather have me than have you. So I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Okay, so I understand that. Now here's the deal with Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. We can't poo-poo four Super Bowl titles. Six Super Bowl appearances. We get all of that, and we understand the resume of Tom Brady is what it is. But I think that to some degree, even though Tom Brady, Bill Belichick is obviously fed off of Tom Brady, Tom Brady has fed off of that system in New England that has helped him immensely. I look at Aaron Rodgers' talents, and I can say you could put that anywhere, and he would still be as great. I'm not right. sure Tom Brady would be as great without Bill Belichick. We're That's on the same page from. about this. All right. No matter who's around him, Tom Brady continues to drive that team, and he's a team player. But we are out of time, folks. Yes. Aaron Rodgers joined the Stephen A. Smith Show on Sirius XM Mad Dog Radio yesterday, Channel 82, 1 to 3 Eastern. Stephen A., don't say I don't love you. Rodgers facing his fair share of critics, including the media, his brother, former teammates such as Greg Jennings, and the list goes on. Stephen A. asked Jennings about this criticism yesterday. Take a listen. I don't really feel like I need to react to every story that's out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think the majority of these stories, you're talking about the same very small group of people mm. doing the talking. The last article, there was a ton of uh, a ton of quotes from my from my current teammates who uh, who all said uh, you know very positive things about about our relationship and, and the time that we spend together. And um, those are the opinions that matter to me. This small group of, of people, the same group of people um, who who talk to these interviews. Um, you know, I think, I think every time there's, there's words out there, to me, it says more about those people, I think, than it does about me. Stephen A., is the Rogers criticism justified? Hell no, it's not. It's not justified at all. First of all, let me say that it was an extreme honor. I know that I was having fun and having a good time, uh, but I was honored to have him on my show. Uh, I'm a huge fan, and, and I'm not going to apologize for that to anybody. I love me some Aaron Rodgers. That's why I came up with the slogan years ago, he's a bad man. I'm not talking about results because obviously we look at the Tom Brady's of the world and we know it doesn't compare. One Super Bowl doesn't compare to four and, and, you know, and six trips to the Super Bowl and all of this other stuff. Aaron Rodgers doesn't have that. And I get that. But from a purely talent perspective, 
talent in terms of throwing that football, whether scrambling to your left, your right, outside the pocket, standing in the pocket and flinging that football and having the wheels to couple with it at the quarterback position, my personal belief is I think Aaron Rodgers is the most talented, the greatest talent at the quarterback position I have ever seen. I'm dead serious about that. I'm not joking. You can talk about Dan Marino. You can talk about Dan Fouts. You can talk about John Elway. You can talk about, uh, you know, Joe Montana. You can talk about Brady and Peyton Manning and all of them. The talent that this brother has at the quarterback position, his ability to fling that football and to do the things that he does from a talent perspective, I consider him the greatest, and, I, and, and I'm not apologizing for that to anybody. And so I say all of that to say, when we talk about criticism, like I said to Greg Jennings when he was up in here, what are you talking about? You know, anybody, any kind of receiver, what are you talking about? You know, I don't care what his brother says about That's family issues. That ain't none of our business, okay? A lot of people have problems with their siblings. We know nothing about it. It's none of our damn business. The only difference between Aaron Rodgers and somebody like me is he'll ignore them while me, I'm prone to cuss you out. That's the difference between us. Oh, now you ask me about my family as it pertains to his professional performance Look at what the Green Bay Packers are able to do with year after year this guy being devoid of a consistent, reliable running game, a consistent, reliable defense, a consistent, reliable offensive line, and somehow, some way, this man carries the franchise on his back. This brother's one of a kind, man, and I, I'm not saying he's perfect. I'm quite sure there are things that he could do to tweak stuff just a little bit, but I say it many times, and I'll say it again. He's a bad man. I, and I'm I would the, take him any day. Yeah, I'm on the same page with you. I, he's the best I've ever seen. I'm not the greatest. I want to just quickly go through this. There's a difference between better and greater. You know, in the one sport that can be measured objectively, that's track and field, we see that every top 10 sprinter in the world today is faster than Jesse Owens. That means they're all better. But how many are as great? How did they do against their contemporaries? And because Aaron Rodgers hasn't had Bill Belichick, he doesn't have the kind of resume in the playoffs that Tom Brady does. And so he will not likely be considered the greatest quarterback ever. But the best? You're saying the guy just who can do the most things, who I would let, you know, everything else being equal, I'd want on my team at quarterback? Aaron Rodgers. I think he's the guy. And I think one of the reasons he doesn't, he doesn't get even more credit is he's not a kind of, I apologize, Jeff Saturday, because I know offensive linemen are very smart guys. But he's not the kind of football meathead that other football players like, I don't think, Jeff. That's what it appears to me. Um, and, 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 but I do think the criticism of him in the last year and three quarters, you know, since the beginning of last year, has been justified. Not that he's been terrible. He's been an A-, minus. you know, for most of last year and then most of this year, there have been MVP candidates, and maybe he's now won. We'll see what, how it shakes out. And then he's been right below the MVP candidates. But we're used to knowing when we watch him, that's the best dude in the game. And he's been something less than that the last couple of years. And football's so interdependent, so reliant on other positions, coaching, etc. De your defense, if you're a quarterback without a great defense, suddenly you don't look as good as you would otherwise. So I get all that. But I also think his play has been something less than the best version of himself. And so the recent criticism, based on the standard he set, is justified. He's still elite, but the three or four or five years before last season, I thought, that's the best player in the game, period. And truth be told, guys, I'll still take Aaron Rodgers before anyone else. I think if Bill Belichick had Aaron Rodgers on the Patriots right now, they'd be even better. I just think he's that good. Wow, I tell you, man, you, you two guys, I mean, I, I, li I like Aaron Rodgers, he's a good player. I, I'm surprised that we're talking about um, the best or the, or the greatest of all those things. When you're talking about Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, all those things, I understand what you're saying. Um, it, it would be hard for me be, because of what you're saying. When you call someone the best, when you say that, the, the, you know, of, of all time or best where we are, it's hard for me to say that Aaron Rodgers is that right now. And, and for exactly your point, Max, of the last year, year and three quarters or, or whatever it is, year, year and a third, really, 
Um, it, but to your point, it hasn't just been Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers had tried to press because of what he was being asked to do. I think when you have a football team that, to your point, can't run the football, you're struggling protection, your defense, defense isn't lining up uh, and taking care of business the way they should. As a quarterback, you take too much credit and you get too much criticism. And that's just the role and that's the, that's the job that you, you have signed up for. So he has taken some shots that probably weren't necessarily fair uh, according to the way that he's played because I, I'm like you every year I don't consider him below the MVPs I always think he's in that MVP category because what you do ask him to do whether it's extend plays with his legs put the ball downfield be aggressive and make those attacking uh, style offensive plays listen that's hard to do and when defenses understand that's what you're going to do and they are taking that away and you still can get it done to a, to a certain degree, he was still getting it done, I mean, you got to take your hat off. I mean, this guy deserves respect as a type of, a type of quarterback he is. And to the, to the other side, Stephen, when you're talking about criticism from players of the type of person that he is and taking shots, whether it's his brother or other guys, I have always been, listen, there are going to be guys you like and dislike in the locker room. That's reality, right? Your personal may, may not work. It, it may be, he may not be the team guy that you expect him to be. I, you know, the way that he criticized his team this year, I would have had a problem with that if I was in the locker room. I would have went back and said, hey, listen, I'm all for it. You speak for yourself, that's great, man. Don't speak for me in the effort I'm putting forward. Right? I'm not into that from whatever position you're sitting at. So there are things that are going to offend players and guys aren't going to hold their tongue because he's Aaron Rodgers and the quarterback and the way that the, the media looks at him wow. or his coaching staff looks at him or GM looks at him, right? When we walk in that locker room, we're all the same. And no, and no one cares what position you hold. If you're speaking ill about the way we've, we, we, we've handled it, it better have been have talked to me. You better have talked to me before and said, hey, look, if I get asked, this is what I'm going to say. So at least we're on the same page. So I, and another thing, when you talked about the Jennings and you talked about Donald Driver and those guys, those guys played with Favre before that as well. So, that, so they're taking it from a different relationship maybe all together, and we don't know. And until you put it in context, I don't know, but but I, I would say that criticism on Rogers. the field I got a is, is 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 ill fated. This guy, as a, as a as a football player, has played lights out. He deserves all the credit he gets. MVP candidates, uh, you know, most valuable play the, the awards he's gotten. Will he get to that four or five number for, from the Super Bowls? You have no idea. With a better coach, you with, with Belichick, would they be better? No one knows. So we're, we're playing. We're assuming a lot of things with all that kind of stuff. But ultimately, in the system he's in, he's been a fantastic. Well, let, let me let me let me, t let me tell you the problem that I have with you saying with you saying that we're assuming. I don't believe I am assuming because here's what I always say when I give speeches, Jeff. I am brilliant because I know I'm not. <laughs> I listen to those who are. Right. And so if I'm listening I'm to Jeff Saturday, if I'm listening, no, 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 it obviously has nothing to do with this show because I teach you every day. So no, you hand me for me, that let, reason, let me focus Steve on that. Jeff. Let me focus on Jeff right here. Bring it. Jeff, here's the deal. Yep. When we sit up here, I listen to you guys talk football and you guys dissect and highlight the intangibles that contribute to success or compromises the possibility of capturing it. So if I take those things into consideration and I use the words, remember, I said you can't dispute results. Right. Tom Brady is the creme de la creme. What I said is talent-wise, in terms of physical ability and what you have put on display, who can dispute that we have seen, uh, the, the notion that we have not seen better than Aaron Rodgers as a talent. Who can dispute that? I, I would say, hey, look at Tom Brady and what he's done for the longevity that he's done. I mean, does he look any worse right now than he did four years no. ago? The guy's still no. freaking slinging it, man. Hey, I mean, so, so to take that and say he's more talented, I mean, I'm can not he sure how you value judging. I think it's a can broad he run with the generalization. Can he, is he, can he run with the football? Absolutely. Is he, that, that's not what he's asked to do. I mean, okay. I, I'm saying for what he Tom does can't do that, and though. what they're doing, hey, Jeff, that's what I'm saying. Jeff, time out one second real quick. Farver Rogers, who do you got at their best? Are you at Stephen A or me? You. I'm going Jeff. far. Wow, I'm going far. Please. Rogers. Please, please, intercept as many interceptions All as right. he threw. Yo, stop Jeff, it, Jeff. Jeff knows a little more about football than Steve and me put it. together. Oh, come on. You're asking me two guys in green, oh, but you know who my favorite is. He going to have a one and eight on his jersey, right? I mean, I play I'm with going 13. to drink my hot chocolate. That's where I'm going to drink my hot chocolate. That's where I'm going. I ain't got time. I ain't got time.